Seeing more hair in your brush than usual? You're not alone. An estimated 80 million Americans experience male or female pattern hair loss as they age, and in other parts of the world, that statistic doesn't change much. Hair loss is a sensitive subject, one that raises many concerns and results in different treatments, often very expensive and extreme measures. Dealing with this problem can be stressful, but there is hope. Research shows that it's possible to thicken your hair back up through dietary changes and a balanced diet. Several scientists agree that a healthy diet with the right mix of protein, iron, and other nutrients can help improve the health, look, and feel of your hair, delivering all the nutrients it needs to stay healthy and strong. In fact, your hair needs the same well-rounded diet that provides all the recommended vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients needed for good health in the rest of your body. Take protein, for example. A strand of hair is composed of mostly protein, which means your hair needs protein to grow. Hair and nails are both protein fibers, says dermatologist Paradi Mirmarani, MD, of the Permanente Medical Group in Vallejo in California. At any given time, about 90% of your hair is in the growing phase. For each individual hair, this growing phase lasts two to three years. At the end of that time, the hair enters a resting phase that lasts about three months before they are shed and replaced by new hair. If you don't get enough protein in your diet, a disproportionate number of hairs may go into the resting phase. A typical scalp has about 120 to 150,000 strands of hair and sheds about 50 to 100 strands of them each day. Most people don't even notice that small amount. But if an unusually large number of hairs enter the resting phase at the same time, hair loss starts to become noticeable. If not getting enough protein is the reason, you can fix that through your diet. But protein isn't the only nutrient needed to maintain healthy hair. You also need other elements, such as iron, vitamin D, vitamin E, and trace minerals such as selenium, copper, and magnesium to help keep your hair in good shape. These nutrients are all involved in the production of the various proteins that make up your hair, says Christine Gerbstadt, MD, RD, spokeswoman for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Not getting enough iron can also cause hair loss. The best source of iron in your diet is lean meat and fish, Gerbstadt says, while good vegetarian sources of iron include cereals, soybeans, pumpkin seeds, white beans, lentils, and spinach. Talk with your doctor about your diet and ask for an iron test so he can check on whether you should consider taking an iron supplement. Though the evidence still isn't clear, some studies suggest that vitamin D may play a role in the hair cycle. 15 minutes of sun exposure a day should be enough for your daily D vitamin requirement as your skin produces this vitamin when it comes in contact with sunlight. Egg yolks and mushrooms are also good sources of this vitamin. Remember also the importance of biotin. In our channel, we have, in fact, a full video dedicated to biotin and how you should take this vitamin. You will find the link to this video is in the description. So what foods should you eat to help strengthen your hair and avoid hair loss? Let's go through the entire list. Foods rich in vitamin C. Vitamin C supports the absorption of iron in your body, the deficiency of which may lead to hair loss. Vitamin C is also known for its antioxidant properties, which reduces the damage caused by free radicals that may make your hair brittle and weak. Add fruits like oranges, papaya, blueberries, lime, and kiwi to your diet. Vitamin C also helps in the production of an essential protein called collagen, which strengthens blood vessels that supports the hair shafts. Walnuts. Nuts are great for fighting hair loss. They have oils which contribute to the elastin in your hair and contributes to the growth. If you don't have enough oils in the body, your hair will have a tendency to fall out. Some of the most promising research on reversing female pattern hair loss was released in January 2015 in the Journal of Cosmetic Dermatology. The ladies in the study received a nutritional supplement containing omega-3 and omega-6 essential fatty acids and antioxidants for six months. 
The results were overwhelmingly positive. After six months, 90% of the subjects reported a reduction in hair loss, 86 reported an improvement in hair growth, and 87% reported thicker hair. To achieve similar results, eat nuts and seeds high in omega-3s and omega-6s, like walnuts, flaxseed, and oils such as grapeseed, sunflower, and sesame. Spinach Iron deficiency is one of the main causes of hair loss and the easiest to treat, according to Dr. Mickey Barber of the Age Management Institute, Synegix Carolinas. Spinach is rich in minerals and vitamins, iron, beta-carotene, folate, and vitamin C, which keep hair follicles healthy and scalp oil circulating and aids in iron absorption. One study found that women with hair loss have significantly lower iron and vitamin D2 levels. Toss a spinach salad with hard-boiled eggs or mushrooms, both of which are loaded with vitamin D, to give yourself the best shot at slowing hair loss. Spinach is not only iron-rich, but it is vital also for sebum production, which acts as a natural conditioner for hair. It also provides us with omega-3 acid, magnesium, potassium, calcium, and iron. These help in maintaining a healthy scalp and lustrous hair. Halibut, salmon, and oysters. Foods rich in zinc help with hair growth, and a lack of this mineral can cause, in fact, baldness. Halibut, salmon, oysters, and other types of fish are rich in this mineral. Zinc seems to be a super nutrient when it comes to preventing and treating hair loss. In one study, researchers compared the zinc levels of 50 people with hair loss due to alopecia areata to 50 healthy patients and found that all of the alopecia patients had significantly lower zinc levels. Another study examined the zinc levels of 312 men and women experiencing hair loss and found out that all subjects had significantly lower zinc levels than people with healthy hair. Fortunately, zinc supplementation and eating plenty of zinc-rich foods can slow hair loss in the majority of these cases, so it's a good idea to add it to your diet. According to the National Institutes of Health, oysters contain more zinc per serving than any other food. Other food sources for zinc include walnuts, spinach, eggs, sunflower seeds, green peas, wheat germ, oatmeal, and chickpeas. Carrots. Carrots are rich in beta-carotene, which the body turns into vitamin A. When it comes to your hair, vitamin A helps produce scalp-sustaining oils. Carrots provide excellent nourishment for the scalp. A healthy scalp ensures shiny, well-conditioned hair that is strengthened and moisturized. An overall balanced diet of lean proteins, fruits, and vegetables, whole grains, legumes, Fatty fish, like the Indian salmon, and low-fat dairy are great boosters for healthy hair. Lentils Lentils are an excellent food to fight hair loss as they are loaded with protein, iron, zinc, and biotin. Besides this, lentils are also full of folic acid which is necessary for restoring the health of red blood cells that supply the skin and scalp with much needed oxygen. Greek yogurt. A lot of at-home hair mask recipes have Greek yogurt in them, and for a reason. This yogurt is in fact packed with vitamin B5 and vitamin D that are known to promote hair follicle health. Eggs. As I just said, vitamin D is great for your hair. Eggs are a good source for this vitamin. For a head full of healthy hair, the egg is probably one of your best friends. It's loaded with essential nutrients such as proteins, vitamin B12, iron, zinc, and omega-6 fatty acids in large amounts. Being deficient in any of these vitamins and minerals is known to result in poor quality for hair. In addition, it's also a good source for biotin, that's vitamin B7, which is a great aid to fight hair loss. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope this will be helpful. Integrating these foods in your diet is essential for the health of your hair, but diet alone may not be able to stop some of the main enemies of the health of your hair, 
such as an insufficient micro blood circulation on the upper part of the scalp, or the hormone DHT, which attacks and destroys the hair follicles. With the use of our amazing Stop Hair Loss Natural Method, you will be able to prevent these two factors from destroying your hair. Today, you have a chance to see four presentation videos of our program. Click on the link below the video to the left to get started now. Thank you for your attention, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you.